we can really educate religious leaders for the 21st century because two of the greatest challenges in the 21st century are partisan polarization and religious pluralism. So I came by way of two invitations. The first invitation was to apply for an ethics position amid student outcry that an African-American be hired as a full-time faculty member here. And the second invitation, after doing the interview, came from God, who said, if you claim that you're about a gospel of liberation, this is a place that's on the verge of a radical conversion. And it's a radical conversion from its origins in Southern slave history. So. I said, well, if I'm gonna be faithful, I'm going there. We are continuing in that radical conversion. It's a place where you can academically talk about those questions, but you can also get expert literally engaged in those questions. The fact that I was invited because there was no African-American presence on the faculty. And now there are four, about to be five, African-American faculty members, two VPs who are African-American who sit on the President's Council, to sit around a table where there's actual gender diversity and racial, ethnic, and cultural diversity, I'd say, Yes, the radical conversion <laughs> caught on. 